Mike Gill, State of Corruption. You'll see this is entitled to the State Supreme Court. Time to cut a deal. That's right. Understand this. If you have corruption in your lower courts, know this. The higher courts are more corrupt. The most corrupt judges get promoted to the Supreme Court of the states. Why do you think you never win an appeal? Because they're covering for this criminality. This organization of corruption promotes you to the Supreme Court. That's your reward for being corrupt. Now, do you know something? I told you that case against the cartel. The largest settlement judgment in the history of the state, $274 million. The cartel hasn't taken a penny from me. It was all an act, a performance, right? Now the Supreme Court's in trouble because they affirmed it. Now, now they didn't use those five judges. No, they used three judges instead of five. And they were all retired judges. They were already acting criminally previously. What do they got to lose? They're going to get fired? That's right. In fact, you'll love this. You got another appeal with the Alex Walker case, my previous attorney, and number two in this network of corruption. He only tried to have me murdered. The FBI has that evidence, took the computer from my assistant that was giving him my locations to be murdered. They haven't documented the attempts of my murder and it's only extorted me for years for my silence. And we don't have to guess at that extortion. I show you a, the list, a settlement agreement. And I'll also show you the releases. There you go. Alex Walker and the company he worked for, my law firm, Divine Millimat, who also represented him in this case, which in itself is a conflict. But you think about that. These people offered me $50 million for my silence. Silence because of this network of corruption. Silence for the extortion. And you know what happens when I said no? That's when they tried to settle out of court with killing me. Now, the Supreme Court has that case. Already knowing that they can't act on the, the case with the drug cartel that they affirmed. Because the FBI knows it's corrupt. And they know that. So they've got to extort me even further. So you're going to see the Supreme Court issue me a judge. Not just any judge. Guess what? A retired judge again. But not just a retired judge. This judge never worked on the Supreme Court. He was a lower court judge who's retired. He's going to make that ruling. You see what I'm saying? Everybody's looking not to sign that, that appeal. Because they know it's fraudulent. They know Walker was my attorney. They have the settlement offers. Worse even now, and you'll see a post of Delta in court. It only got 5 million views. That means 5 million people of you saw this corruption. All this evidence is with the FBI, U.S. Attorney Lowen, AG, Attorney General Barr. They're afraid to move. Because the FBI are afraid to have it move. Now think about this. The FBI is not interfering because they want me to settle. Because for years they've been covering up for this network. So they would quite literally incriminate themselves. But the problem they have with the evidence they have, they know in any kind of an investigation, they all go to jail. And I'm doing my part to put them in jail because the FBI and the AG's office, along with the commissioner of the IRS now, has my Fort Shacks return. 
Walker's instructions. The IRS tape about the mole in my company. The FBI has that, and so does the commissioner of the IRS. The fake account that they signed, signed, sent me, Curtis Morley, which I never met. They have that information and all the mail fraud from the IRS to this account. Let's put it easy, enough to put them all in jail. So what is the FBI going to do? They have to hope that I make a settlement. And what I'm doing is lighting the fuse on my end. We've got a brand new commissioner, Charles Reddick. He has got has that information and evidence. A congressman who's investigating the FBI. He has that evidence too. A leading national newspaper, international newspaper. I'm sitting down doing interviews with them now and collecting the evidence. This is about to blow up in their face. The New Hampshire State Supreme Court, if you sign that appeal, deny it, you go to jail. If you ignore it, you go to jail. And those who have put their name on that drug cartel appeal, not only are you going to jail, I want each and every one of you out there know that those judges in the courts, those lawyers, and those Supreme Court judges protected an international drug cartel. Understand this, in that video full of it, what was seized by the head of the DEA, Jack Riley, who turned around and told the nation, and you can see a clip, that that was the largest drug seizure in the country. Of all of last year, the feds seized 2,700 pounds of fentanyl, enough to kill everybody in this country twice. They admitted that that was tons, tons of fentanyl. He used the word Northeast. Northeast goes to New Jersey and New York. We are a distribution center. And those judges and the FBI up to this point are guilty of protecting them. And this Alex Walker and this appeal is protecting that network and even the attempt on my life. Now you'll see emails, Walker asking for his release for the DRA. Did you see that auction of my properties? That was fake too. You know who's handling the DRA? Alex Walker. And that's what this extortion. If you don't take their money, and they manage not to take your life, then they turn around and put more weight on the scale. And the only reason why I believe I'm alive now is that the FBI has too much of my evidence if something happens to me and this is investigated. And trust me, there's something out there that's making them fearful of an investigation. Otherwise, I would be dead. And I know this for certain because the way they're acting. Why didn't the cartel take my property? Why isn't the Supreme Court ruling on this appeal? Because they have a fear level. And I can been doing this for almost well, 11 years. I have never sensed the level of fear that they have now. They've been extremely confident for years. We shook them up here and there, but not to this level of fear, which makes me believe that we have potential of doing something here, making history. So this evidence is now with the IRS Commissioner, Charles Reddick. The FBI, and I'm telling you, has this evidence. U.S. Attorney Allen and, and Attorney General Barr. There is, if this evidence is indisputable, you will uncover a network that controls your state. To the people of family court across this country, this is the business that they're in. They're in to selling protection and they're in for federal stealing. 
because of matching funds, you are all victims of the same network of corruption. Unite with what's going on here. The victims of the IRS, it is the arm of extortion. The evidence that I have is, is, is absolute. The IRS is requesting the release on that $50 million. We get this network by getting Walker, by getting Shaheen, by getting these judges from right to the Supreme Court, unravels that network. And it shows the methodology of each and every one of our states. What I'm showing you goes on exactly, exactly in each of our states. Your banking commissions are laundering money, are protecting drug money. Your Department of Revenue is stealing money. Education stealing money. They're protected by the Attorney General's office. We take down a network. Now, I'm going to post at the end of this a letter that, that the five heads of department heads of the IRS, along with Commissioner Reddick, got. So this becomes evidence. Now, I, now this evidence and letter has been signed for. They own it. I want you to read it. It calls them out. It shows the evidence. So what we're doing is understand our plan of attack here. The biggest fear they have is someone breaking ranks. For instance, the IRS saying we have to do something. That tumbles it all. The FBI is going, if we don't do any something, we'll be sharing a jail cell with the cartel. That moves it. You see, any one of these pieces, pieces giving it to the congressman that's investigating the IRS, opens up that avenue. Getting to be international news with an international newspaper. That has the potential of, of, of tipping that domino. And that's what we're doing. And that's the fear level that's out there. Mike Gill, State of Corruption.